plastic fascia plate which I've pressed up. You can see it's got a couple of angles on here. I also trimmed it off to suit the side of the boat to make it all fit in nicely. So this will just fit inside. I'll just weld these little welds here. I'll put the earth clamp on first. Using these clamps just makes it so easy to keep everything square. I've already pre-measured everything. This is where welding procedures become very important. To keep the job square, we need to weld equally, one on each side. So we weld here, we weld here. We weld here, we weld here. If we weld the corners, we do one here, one there. And these, this will want to pull this way. When you weld this one, this one will want to pull that way. They will hold everything in square, so by keeping them even. Okay, the gutter's got a drain. It's going to drain this way. So we have to open up all of these ways to stop the water from getting through and close off some as well. So I'll just quickly knock a couple of these out so you can have a look how I do it. From the initial fabrication, I've decided that it needed to be a, a bit stronger. So I've put some reinforcement underneath here and some underneath here. So potentially you could have four people standing on top here. So it has to be a bit stronger. Um, I've also cut out the, where the water flows through, which you saw, and then blocked off where the water can run out. Okay, and I'm going to put a drain in each corner over here so that when the water falls onto this deck, it'll be caught in this guttering system which we've made today and cap capture it all and direct it to where we want it to go. So uh, I'm about to fit this in. Um, I've got the front of the cast deck, the cast deck panel already in the boat. I will show you that as we go inside there and, and how everything, hopefully, fingers crossed, it all matches up nicely. It's uh, been measured twice and cut once, that's the number one rule. So designed this so that this part of the gutter actually fits underneath this flashing here, like so, like so, and there we have it. And there we have it, everything seems to be fitting nicely. This 
flushes off nice. Now, to finish this off, we make some doors. There's a Just to show you the fabrication needed. A couple of clamps on there. That gets welded to the front face underneath there. I'll climb in there and do that. Yep, that's what I do, like a rat. And all of these faces all fit nicely in here. There's a nice gap here. I've left same on both sides. We don't need to seal that. If water's coming in over the side of the boat, well, we've got bigger issues than uh, what we anticipated. Now I'm going to just cover the top of that. Also, I've put some additional supports underneath here. so that we can stand up the top there and dance. Just brought in the two batteries. They're both lithium batteries and they will be clamped to the floor and I'll just give them a bit of protection with these pipes as well. I've marked out all the hatches, hatch covers for the cast deck, I'm going to scratch gauge them, mark these all out, then go ahead and cut the corners out, fold them up, we'll have some uh, hatch covers. Now for the big test, do they fit? Bonus. They both fit. I've cut and folded all of the top panels to enclose the cast deck. Now all it needs to happen is I need to get inside that hole there and weld it all out. Here we go. If I don't come out, send a search party.
done. I need a rest. That's hard work in there. Final fit out today. It's got its new 115 Mercury on it. We carpeted the floor in the last little movie. We made the battery boxes. Now they're all painted up, batteries fitted, clamped down. There's a seat pod going on down here. I made the console for it. Switch box, two sounders, mercury management. There's enough room underneath for a box for all your gear. It's all been wired out. We're putting a couple of steps on on the cast deck and some hatches and a little bit of carpet over the top of it all. Steps are done, a little bit of reinforcement behind there. The uh, hatch is done. When we can't it, we'll have a tag in there to lift it, close it. The big hatch door's been fitted as well, but it's not on at the moment. All done. As you know, I made the console Battery box in the back there, seat pole post there, cast deck, all carpeted, struts on the doors, 